if I had to inject all that insulin into a body that produces its own insulin, I, I probably would have killed myself. What's up Troop? Today in this video we're going to be addressing some of the questions we've had since releasing my client Johan's mini documentary a couple of months back. For those of you who don't know, Johan was diagnosed type 1 diabetic in 2014 and after two to three years of making big changes in his fitness and his nutrition, Johan was able to stop injecting insulin and this is huge for a type 1 diabetic. His video has been met with some controversy and a handful of negative comments. First of all, I'd like to say the positive comments we've had far outweigh the negative and they do make a difference in me believing, certainly personally, that we are doing the right thing by sharing this story. And after all, that is all we are doing from our point of view is to share the story. Everything in this story is correct. It's not necessarily our place to say why this has happened, only that it has happened. We just wanna spread the word and inform people of the changes that we have made that have seemingly made this difference to Johan. Check out his main video if you haven't already, but let's hear now how all of this has affected Johan. Right, so we had a comment about type ones not being able to exercise, and would you say that's true? I know so many type 1 diabetics who exercise and they are super fit. Type 1s can be fit and, and still survive. I mean, we even know of a few athletes that are type 1 diabetic. I've had a few people on the channel actually write in the comments about them being sort of athletes who perform at a high level. So we do know that people can, it is possible. So what would you say the best type of exercise is? For any, for type ones or just any? Both. Both. I, I enjoy a, a, a bit of both, you know, all of it, a mixture of, of weight training and cardio. And I remember when I started training with you, that you said to me, you, you concentrate on, on weight training. Um, a little bit of cardio, but the cardio I can do myself. And it worked for me. So lots of variety, basically. In the early days, I got you to check your sugar regularly. How do you find the different types of exercise now affect your sugar levels? If I only do cardio, uh, my blood sugar would be higher than if I do both weights and cardio. If, I, if we went on holiday, I would try to go and run in the hotel gym normally, every day. Um, and then by the end of the week, I can see my blood sugar is a bit higher than it would, would normally be if I trained with weights. I've also noticed as soon as we're back and I'm into it, like the first day after the first day of training weights, my blood sugar goes down. And I hope we made it clear in the video that you didn't do this straight away. It was done over time. It was a long period of time. You didn't go from being inactive to the level of exercise you currently do now. Last week, we were lucky enough to go to sunny Mallorca to do our first Spartan race. Johan has already done six Tough Mudders, one rat race, one half marathon. And if none of that makes sense to you, please check out his playlist that I've now created, which will show you some of the Tough Mudders he's done and give you an idea of how his fitness has progressed since he started training with me eight or nine years ago. Do you find now that your diabetes affects your exercise? It did. In, I think I'm now I'm so used to it, but initially, if my blood sugar is high, I feel lethargic, and my mouth is dry. It's hard to then begin the session because you're tired when you start, and now halfway through it, it kind of feels a bit better. And equally, if you start and your blood sugar is too low, you don't have energy and you might end up fainting, so you might end up in a hyper. The other thing I noticed with weight training that my blood sugar went up rather than down halfway through the training. It, it only stays high for about up to two hours afterwards and if I did nothing it would just return to normal. What about now? So now I don't inject and I have my own insulin so that is working even though it's, it's a bit slower than, than yours for instance. It would take a bit longer for my blood sugar to normalize after a high carb meal. 
but it, it's there. So I, I do have the energy in my mouth or the sugar in my muscles. So. Some people seem to think that you were misdiagnosed. Could you now say that you are type one? What do you think the situation is there? I agree that I'm not type one at the moment because I make my own insulin. However, for seven years, my pancreas was not working. I really needed the insulin. If I had to inject all that insulin into a body that produces its own insulin, I, I probably would have killed myself. So thanks for watching. Please leave any more questions you do have in the comments down below and we will do our best to get back to them as soon as possible. Please check out Johan's other videos and the rest of the channel and I'll see you soon on the next video. Take care.